Today we will talk about graphs. How would you define a graph? A graph is a chart that compares sets of information. Different types of graphs can be used for various sets of data. We have the picture graph, also known as the pictograph, the bar graph, known as the column graph, the line graph or the line chart, and the pie graph, commonly known as the pie chart. In this video, we will study each of these graphs and answer a simple exercises. What do you know about a picture graph or a pictograph? Take a look at the given example below. A pictograph is used to display information that uses images or symbols to represent data. This is the simplest form of graph where little pictures are used to represent numbers. We can do it vertically or horizontally, just like in the given examples. Both of the graphs show exactly the same information about the number of phone calls that the operator received in four days. Since a graph uses pictures, it is advisable to use a scale. The scale of the picture graph is the number that a symbol represents. In this graph, one picture is equal to 100 phone calls. It means on day one, there were 500 calls were made. On day two, 300. And 400 phone calls were made on day three while 200 phone calls on day 4. Looking at this information, we can conclude that day 1 has the most number of phone calls received, while day 4 has the least. Study the pictograph below and answer the guide questions. Remember to look at the given scale. Number 1. How many apples were sold on Wednesday? Number 2. How many apples were sold in four days? Number three, which day has the most number of apples sold? And which day has the least number of apples sold? And lastly, find out what is the difference between the most number of apples and the least number of apples sold in four days. You can always pause this video if you want to use this as an exercise for your students in the classroom. Let's work on the first one. From the given data, there were 90 apples sold on Wednesday. Let's see how many apples were sold in four days. 60 apples on Monday, 80 apples on Tuesday, and 40 apples were sold on Thursday. In total, there were 270 apples sold in four days. And clearly, Wednesday has the most number of apples sold and Thursday has the least. The difference between the most number of apples to the least number of apples sold is 50. It is pretty easy to interpret a picture graph, don't you think? Let's talk about a bar graph. How would you define a bar graph? A bar graph is a graphical display of information. It uses the size of the bar or column to represent the number. It is also called a column graph. Bar graphs can be created with vertical bars or horizontal bars that compares values in a category. Below are examples of bar graphs. In vertical bars, the values are written on the y-axis and the categories on the x-axis, while the horizontal bars, the categories are written on the y-axis and the values on the x-axis. Study the bar graph below and answer the guide questions. This graph shows the favorite color of students. Again, remember to take note of the scale. Find out how many students like red. What color do students like the least? What color do students like the most? Then compare the number of students who like yellow and blue. And then write down the difference. Take your time to study the graph, but if you're ready, let's go ahead and check your answers. Let's start with the first one. How many students like red? There are 10 units for red 
And if one unit is equal to five students, therefore the total number of students would be 50. And obviously the least favorite color is yellow, while most students like blue. To check the difference between yellow and blue, we take the value of the color with a bigger number minus the value of the color with a smaller number. That would be 100 for blue minus 25 for yellow. This would give us a difference of 75. There you have it. So were you able to answer all questions correctly? Without a doubt, I know you did great. What do you know about a line graph? A line graph is usually used to convey information that changes from time to time. It is a way of displaying data to easily see the trend over time. There are different types of line graphs. The example below is a simple line graph. It is formed when you draw just one line to connect the data points. It is also known as a linear graph. The x-axis, or the horizontal axis, is labeled as time. And the y-axis is the variable that is being measured, which is the number of boxes of donuts sold within a period of five days. Another type of a line graph is known as a multiple line graph. It is formed when you plot more than one line on the same set of axes. Take a look at this example of a multiple line graph showing the growth of Lisa's collection of books and CDs. The x-axis is labeled as the time within a period of five months from January to May, while the y-axis has two variables that measure the number of books and the number of CDs. Let's create a simple line graph regarding the rates of water sipping through clay. Use this information. Time is measured in seconds and the depth is measured in centimeters. Within 15 seconds, the water sips through with a depth of 3.5 centimeters. 30 seconds, the depth is 6 centimeters. At 45 seconds, the depth is 7.5 centimeters. And at 60 seconds, the water flows through a depth of 8 centimeters. To draw a line graph, we need to plot individual items of data into a set of axes. Let's start with 15 seconds and find a point that corresponds with 3.5 centimeters then mark it with a dot. Do the same with the next one. 30 seconds corresponds with 6 centimeters. Then 45 seconds with 7.5 centimeters and 60 seconds with 8 centimeters. Now that we have identified the individual point, we need to connect each consecutive data point with a line segment from the first point to the second point, to the third, and to the last point. And there you have it. This is a simple line graph showing the rates of water sipping through clay. What about a pie graph or a pie chart? What do you know about it? A pie chart is a special chart that uses pie slices to show relative sizes of data. It is a type of graph in which a circle is divided into sectors that represent a proportion of the whole. Here is an example of a pie chart about the students' favorite types of movies, such as comedy, science fiction, action, and drama. The whole circle is divided into a series of segments. Each segment represents a particular category. Each category can be expressed as a fraction, percentage, and even angle, or the measurement in degrees. I will create a separate lesson solely on pie charts, so watch out for my next upload. If you found videos like this useful, a like would be appreciated. Feel free to browse other interesting lessons on this channel. 
PDF copies are available on our Facebook page. This would be all for now. Stay safe, everyone, and have fun learning.